Good morning everybody and welcome to today's service at Surrey Chapel. My name is Annie for those of you who don't know me. Um, so I wonder what you would do if you needed to get ready for bed. I wonder if you would grab an eye mask and you put that on your head ready to get to bed. I wonder if that's what you do. What about if you needed to get ready to have a shower? You might get a shower cap on, mightn't you? Put my shower cap on ready for my lovely warm shower. What about if you were gonna get ready for a party? Well, I have these very cool sunglasses and I have these very cool headphones. Now I'm ready for my party. So when something is gonna happen, like it's bedtime or we need to have a shower or we're gonna to go to a party, we need to get ready for those things. And in today's true Bible story, John the Baptist comes to tell us that we need to get ready for something that is very important more important than going to bed, more important than having a shower, and even more important than going to a party. So let's read what it says in our Bible reading today. John prepares for Jesus. This is the beginning of the good news about Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As the prophet Isaiah wrote, I will send my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. There is a voice of a man who calls out in the desert, prepare the way for the Lord, make the road straight for him. So Jesus is who John was telling the people that they needed to prepare for. And did you spot what he called him in the passage as well? He called him Christ and Son of God. And that's who we are called to get ready for as well. We are called to get ready for Jesus, who is the Son of God. And it says this in that passage a bit later on. There is one coming later who is greater than I. I am not good enough even to kneel down and untie his sandals. That is how great Jesus is, how great the Son of God is that we need to prepare for. So here's an important question that I want you to chat about with your families, with your parents around you. How do we get ready for Jesus? If we need to prepare for him, how do we get ready? Talk to the people around you, what do you think? Do you think it's by putting on our shower caps? Am I ready to meet Jesus now? Mm, no. Do you think it's by putting on my cool sunglasses? Am I ready now? No, that's not ready to meet Jesus either. What about, oh I know, is it by tidying and hoovering my house? No. Well, that's a bit strange. That's how I get ready for most things. But it said in the passage that specific ways we need to do to get ready for Jesus. And one of them was, it said that we need to confess our sin. That means that we need to tell God the wrong things that we do, the things that he doesn't like us doing. We need to say them to God and we need to say, I'm sorry for doing those things that you don't like, God. And that way we can change our lives and change our hearts with God's help. And it also says that we can get baptised if we know God, so we can start a new life with him. That's how we get ready for Jesus, how we prepare for Jesus. It is not by hoovering our houses. It is not by wearing cool sunglasses. It is by realising what we do that's wrong, that's called sin, and saying sorry to God for those things. And Jesus deserves much more than just putting on a shower cap. He deserves much more um, for us to get ready for him in that way. So Jesus is God coming to us. That is fantastic news. And in verse 15, a little later on in that passage, it says that we need to believe this good news, that Jesus is God coming to us. That is incredible. That's another way we can get ready. Believe that Jesus is coming for us. Now, here is the big question, the main question. Are you ready? Are you ready for Jesus? Are you prepared for Jesus? I wonder if you know the game hide and seek. And you hide and someone finds you. The best part is being found and then you win the game. Jesus is coming to find us. We are being found because Jesus is coming to find us. And there's a verse that said, we read it earlier, that says, prepare the way of the Lord. And that is like Jesus saying, ready or not, here I come like we say in hide and seek, ready or not, here I come. So are we ready for Jesus to come and find us or are we not ready? Are we prepared for Jesus? And if we're not prepared, let's have a think about how we can get prepared in those ways we said earlier. Jesus is coming, 
are you ready? That's what I want you to go away thinking about today. Are you ready to meet the amazing Son of God? Are you ready for him to come and find you? Well, next week, if you come back and join us again next week, we're going to meet the person Jesus that we've been talking all about. Um, So come back then and we'll learn about this incredible person. Let's pray together now. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you so much that you came to find us, that you want to be our friend. We pray that you would help us to get ready to meet you um, and that we would love you more. Amen. If you check on the website, there's a sheet for older kids and for younger kids and some questions that you can chat about as a family as well. Have a great day.